Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun and the smallest planet in the solar system. In fact, with a diameter of just 4,880 kilometers, it's not much bigger than the Moon. It's named after the Roman messenger of the gods and has been known about since ancient times, since it can be seen with the unaided eye. Although Mercury is closer to the Sun than Venus is, Venus is hotter because its dense atmosphere gives rise to a runaway greenhouse effect. On average, Mercury orbits at only 39% of the distance of Earth from the Sun. Its surface temperature can climb to 430 degrees centigrade, or about 800 Fahrenheit during the day, and drop to minus 180 degrees centigrade, minus 290 Fahrenheit at night. The reason for this large temperature difference is that Mercury doesn't have an atmosphere thick enough to provide any kind of insulation or buffering effect. Mercury has only a thin exosphere rather than an atmosphere. The exosphere is formed from atoms thrown off the surface by the solar wind and meteoroids impacting the surface. It consists mainly of oxygen, sodium, potassium, hydrogen and helium atoms. From the surface of Mercury, the Sun would appear about three times as large and seven times as bright than it does on Earth. Mercury completes one orbit around the Sun every 88 days. In other words, a Mercurian year is 88 days long. However, one solar day, one full day-night cycle, lasts 176 days, about two years on Mercury. This is because when Mercury is moving fastest in its elliptical orbit around the Sun, each rotation is not accompanied by a sunrise and sunset, like it is on most other planets. Mercury is the densest planet in the solar system after Earth. It has a large metallic core. The surface of Mercury is similar to that of the Moon, scarred by many craters caused by the impact of asteroids, meteoroids and comets. Only two spacecraft have been sent to explore Mercury, although a third is on its way. The first was Mariner 10, which flew past the innermost planet three times in 1974 and 1975. Then, in 2004, NASA launched its Messenger spacecraft, which successfully went into orbit around Mercury in 2011. It spent four years circling the planet before being intentionally crashed into the surface. Now the Bepi Colombo spacecraft, a joint mission of the European and Japanese space agencies, is on its way. Launched in October 2018, Bepi Colombo will arrive at Mercury in late 2025. Its two orbiters will then spend at least a year, and possibly two, gathering data on the planet's surface, interior, magnetic field, and exosphere.